We are in Portland, Maine, the original Portland. It's our first time ever here, and I don't know any better way to get ourselves acquainted with the city than a food tour. And we're starting with a lobster roll right here at the Portland Lobster Company. I'm excited. Are you excited? I think she's excited. She smells that goodness. <laughs> All right, let's go. There are lots of places around Portland that you can get a lobster roll or just lobster in general, but we chose the Portland Lobster Co. because they're pet friendly, they have good reviews, and they have a beautiful view of the pier and the marina. I think Jeremy said this is the cheapest lobster roll we've gotten here in New England, and um, I think this is the third, the third one we've gotten, right? We got one in Connecticut, we got one in Massachusetts, now we're going for Maine. Had, until we got to New England, had no idea that hot lobster was a thing. When I think of a lobster roll, I think of like the cold mayo version. However, now that we're in New England, I've gotten quite accustomed to the lovely hot buttered version, which this looks nice and buttery. Let's give it a whirl. I also love these buns. Whoops. Like, can I get these little weird hot dog bun things for like my homemade lobster rolls back home? They wouldn't be that good anyway. <laughs> The lobster is so fresh and soft. It's actually cold, but it is buttered. It's really, really nice, really nice. I love these like crusty, buttery, crusty buns too. It's some perfect lobster. Yeah, you can move it, Summer ale Thank you. It is buttery, really tender, and at 21 bucks for that and fries, probably the best deal we've had on a lobster roll. Definitely, definitely. I found myself thinking as that we were eating this delicious New England lobster roll, like I could get used to eating lobster rolls on a regular basis, but I don't know that my wallet could. However, this this is actually a pretty good deal. It's it's definitely the best deal we've had so far. Okay, she got some. How'd you like your lobster spoil, princess? <laughs> percent excited about our next stop we are gonna go get some oysters because you know it's it's an oyster town I don't think I like them but my palate has changed a lot since the last time I ate them which is probably like 15 years ago so let's go eat some oysters when the oyster place has a 45 minute wait you come around the corner and you get a beer. I got the Simmer Down. This says it's a floral and bright beer filled with notes of citrus and passion fruit. Ah, oh, it's nice. A little hoppy, but it's good. Jimmy got the Pepper Bison. It says it has notes of banana and clove. Oh, that's interesting. Yeah, it's pleasant. Oh no, I just learned some very bad news. Portland is known for raw oysters. Raw oysters is what we're gonna be eating and I definitely don't like those, but it's been like 20 years, so I'm gonna give them a go again. Jeremy and I were just talking and he's like, yeah, well, I like fried oysters. I've never tried raw oysters. And I was like, well, I haven't either, but like the ones that you shuck out of a, shuck out of a shell. And he's like, yeah, those are raw oysters. Oh, we're gonna eat raw oysters. Thanks to Bago Brewing Co. for the beer. I feel like it's a nice uh, way to ease me into what I'm apparently doing, eating a raw oyster. <laughs> All right, let's, let's go. go. Eventide Oyster Company is known for their oysters. They make a lot of like best oysters in Portland lists and so we're gonna try them. I was under the impression that I was going to be trying like fried oysters or some kind of cooked oysters but um 
We're gonna try raw ones. We ordered a half dozen. We're gonna get three different kinds. So we're gonna be able to try a few different kinds of oysters even, but they have like this whole list. They have like 12 options of different kinds of oysters. So that's pretty neat. And if that fails for us, then they're also supposed to have one of the best clam chowders in town. So we're also gonna try that. The only other time I ever tried oysters, I was, I don't know, maybe 15. My uncle had me do it. It was at a good restaurant in Portland, in Portland, Oregon. And they were in like these little cups, like little like side dish cups. So maybe that was why I was like, I didn't know that that's how they serve them. Because in like real, like in the shuck or the shell or whatever, because I had it for the first time in a different way. And I don't even know if that's normal. So maybe this will be a different experience and Maybe it won't. <laughs> I don't know. We'll see. They have arrived. They didn't look so bad. We've got two Winter Point Selects from West Bath. These two are Norm Vega from Damariscotta. Uh, hopefully I'm saying that right. And then the last two are Wet Smack from Freeport. These were on recommendation from our waitress, so hopefully she did us good. I realized because I ate these a weird way, I guess. I don't know, is that normal to eat them out of a little side cup? Um, the instructions on Google say, take your tiny fork and sort of move the oyster around in its liquid-filled half shell to make sure it's detached. Then put down your fork, pick up the shell, and slurp down the oyster from the wide end. It's more aerodynamic that way. Chew the fish once or twice and then swallow it. I'm gonna let you go first. <laughs> All right. Here we go. It's not bad. Kind of salty, not that funky or anything. A little ta 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 from the Tabasco ice. Yeah, it's not bad. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. No, I think it's just not bad raw oyster, raw oysters, raw oysters before. That Tabasco ice is really nice. It kind of covers like any like fishy taste it would have had, and those weren't like slimy and weird. I feel silly because that actually wasn't so bad. Let's try the others. I think I like the red wine sauce thing better. Okay. Nope. nope. You don't like it better. <laughs> I do not like that combination better. Nope, nope, nope. Sorry, love. The Tabasco is really nice because it covers the flavor. The red wine it doesn't cover that fishy taste as much. Didn't enjoy that one as much. Sorry. It's okay. But it's okay because all we have left is one little guy. <laughs> Yeah, not bad. And you had the red wine again? I did, yeah. So you like that? What was your favorite oyster? I kind of think the second one, but I like the red wine sauce more than I like the Tabasco. Okay, so. all right. Yeah, that one was a little fishier too. Yeah, the first one. The first one, the Winter Point Selects from West Bath. Favorite? I wouldn't know. I wouldn't go so far as to say they were like I liked it, but I didn't dislike it. So that was the staff recommended one. So. <laughs> yeah. So thanks, thanks, server. <laughs> you did us well. Maybe the clam chowder makes best of list because it's fancy yeah. as all get out. It's got like a piece of seaweed on it. Some kind of like drizzle. With oil, some sort on it. Yeah. Fancy crackers. fancy crackers. It's pretty fancy. But pretty it? good. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Like how fancy? I don't know, it just seems fancy. It does seem fancy. Some pretty hefty pieces of clam in there. It's like a clam strip like in there. Clam. Yeah, it's like a whole clam. Oh, sure. Yeah, yeah, sure. Mm. <laughs> 
Oh, it's nice. It's like very herby, but also the clam, like the flavor of clam, definitely um, you can taste it. There's like nice chunks of potatoes and other stuff in there. Yeah, it's nice. It's nice. I haven't had an actual piece of clam yet, but I'm like afraid because they're so giant that I'm like, mm, I don't know if I'm gonna like that. And I like raw oysters now, so it's no big deal. Or it's kind of a big deal. I'm not super into clam. <laughs> it's nice clam. It's just not my favorite. I'm more it's of the clam. I'm more of the chowder side of, of the, the clam chowder fan. <laughs> a lot of times, clam chowder has bacon in it. What makes this one kind of interesting is it has salt pork. It's a little saltier, but it's still a similar kind of thing to bacon. It's pretty good. I don't think I knew that bacon was in clam chowder. A lot of the time, yeah. Really? If you get it like fancy times? Because I, I don't know, my, my New England clam chowder from Campbell's is in it. Yeah, that doesn't have it. <laughs> you know, I think I was a little off put by it at first because it was such a different flavor than I'm used to. So if you're looking for a standard clam chowder, this might not be it. But the more that I ate it, the more that I found it to be really nice. Those crackers are great too. They have whoopie pies on their menu, which were invented in Maine. I feel like we should try them, but also I have another dessert in mind at another place. So I think we're gonna go stop at and maybe take back to our hotel. We are gonna be in Portland for the next two nights. However, the next couple days, the weather does not look promising. Today is definitely the nicest day. So we decided we would come to the Portland Head Lighthouse, which is the oldest lighthouse in Maine. And I think it's like one of the most photographed lighthouses in Maine as well. And it's really low key here this evening. Parking was free because I think it's after hours and yeah, there's just not a lot of people out right now, so that's nice. It's so random. I was reading about the different lighthouses in Portland and about that one out there, which I didn't know that you would be able to see from here, but it's, it's like a cool um, little island lighthouse that's made out of granite. This has me so excited for what's to come. Like we are just getting started with our main trip and spoiler alert, we are staying in a lighthouse. So you, you probably should subscribe if you aren't so you don't miss that one because uh, we're, gonna, we're gonna stay in a lighthouse in Maine. It's like the ultimate Maine thing. It is so beautiful here, but we did get some dessert, so we are gonna head back to our hotel and eat that dessert. <laughs> we stopped at a place called Becky's Diner, which is known for having some of like the top rated clam chowder and lobster rolls around, so that's also an option. But they had something that I really wanted to try because we're in Maine and Maine's known for blueberries and also for blueberry cake, which I had never even, I didn't know that was a thing. Why have I not ever had it? But we're gonna try it now. It's such a beast, it barely fits in the container. <laughs> it's like overflowing. It's got a ton of blueberries. It's got cream cheese icing. It's pretty good. All right. Oh my gosh, that's so delicious. The blueberries in it are amazing. There's a lot of them. They taste fresh. It's kind of like a blueberry muffin, but if that blueberry muffin was like the most moist, delicious, decadent blueberry muffin that had cream cheese frosting on top of it. It is really, really good. Excellent, excellent choice us. Excellent choice us. <laughs> we have one more very important Portland place to eat at. I, I feel like it makes everybody's food list something that we have to try. And you might have an idea what it is if you know a little bit about Portland and you know a little bit about the things that we like to try when we're on the road. So we'll see you in the morning. Good night. Good morning. 
from a very drizzly day. Now, we ate some really good seafood yesterday. There are tons of options when it comes to seafood though. Like a lot of like top rated restaurants. However, looking around at our next stop, I'm realizing this is the one place to get donuts. And that is at the Holy Donut. Now it's interesting because th what makes their donut special is that they have a, a, a potato-based donut. They aren't gluten-free, but they do have gluten-free options. Yeah, they use like main potatoes in their, their mix. So that's something I'm interested to try. Jeremy is in line in the rain to get us some donuts. It's funny, I'm looking around like the license plate in front of us is Maryland. I see New Jersey right there. Down that way, it looks like Pennsylvania. I see Connecticut. So there's people from all over the place here to get donuts. <laughs> cute little box. It's like a box of KFC, but it's donuts. <laughs> <laughs> I've never seen donuts come in a KFC box before. <laughs> we tried to do a mobile order both last night and this, this morning, morning and neither time it was working. So we just had to go wait it out like everyone else. And it is, it has been interesting the entire time that you've been in line. I have just been seeing all of these cars coming and parking and like every single car that parks is from a different state. It is very popular for tourists to come visit this place. I don't know if locals even like it that much. I'm not sure. I don't know. But it's like the place to go if you're coming from out of town. <laughs> <laughs> but what's cool is that they have like different kinds of donuts. So there's like a sweet potato donut, there's a regular like a chocolate donut that's got like potato in it too. They all there's, have potato I think. I was reading their website. They have plain donuts, they have chocolate, they have sweet potato, and they have vegan and gluten-free. Mm -hmm. So they have a bunch of varieties. Do they all have potato in them? I think they do, but I could oh, be wrong. Now we're not sure. I I thought that their website was indicating that they didn't, but maybe they all do. They're just different types of donuts. I don't know. Do you know? Are they all potato-based? You went crazy? What'd you get, like a half dozen? I did. Oh no! Did you do assorted or did you pick them out? I picked them out. Okay, so we got blueberry. Margarita. Triple berry. Uh, pomegranate. They, oh, uh, pomegranate, honey lavender. Honey lavender, and then two of the two sea salt. Two chocolate. The chocolate, chocolate sea salt. Yum. I want to try the chocolate. Is that okay? It smells chocolatey. It smells like cocoa, cocoa pebbles. That is unlike any donut I have ever had in my life. All right. It's very chocolatey. It has like a little bit of a crispiness on the outside, but it's very like cakey on the inside. You wanna try it? That is pretty tasty. Chocolatey, you get that little hint of salt at the end. Yeah. I can't quite tell if I taste a potato or not. I don't think you're necessarily supposed to taste the potato. <laughs> Yeah, that's pleasant. That's a nice one. I'm excited to try some of the other flavors. This is like the one, the chocolate one, right? It's their most popular one. So yeah, it was, it's, it's, it's good. good. It's good. I like it. I want to try honey lavender. This is the one I picked out because I just think things that have honey lavender flavor are a delight. Oh yeah, this one feels like it's crusty too. So this is like a plain donut with honey lavender, honey icing. lavender icing. Mmm. Smells good. Mmm. That icing is beautiful. Yeah. That is a lovely icing. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you know, the donuts are good. I feel like the consistency is kind of weird for me. Like they're they're kind of cakey, but they're kind of I don't know, they're 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 just like kind of a weird consistency for a donut. But man. That icing is. That icing's really good. A great icing, yeah. Are we gonna try them all, or are we gonna let Future Us decide what we like? We can do that too. I think we'll just let Future Us decide. Wow, my favorite was definitely pomegranate. Well, I think my favorite was blueberry. Good choice. <laughs> 
Okay, we do have something else fun planned today. So, we are gonna go do that. She's the queen of the world. <laughs> She's like, this is fine. This isn't that <laughs> exciting. <laughs> now comes the most exciting part of our day. We are about to take a Portland Discovery land and sea tour. Well, this, the sea version. This is the Harbor Lights and Sights cruise. And luckily it looks like it's not gonna rain. It's a little overcast, but I think we're gonna have uh, beautiful views of the Portland Harbor, as well as uh, I think we're gonna get up and close to uh, at least the lighthouse we saw yesterday, and if not others, so. Plus they're super pet friendly, so Carly gets to keep living that, that boat dog life. Huh, she's a boat girl now. <laughs> she loves that, sm that fresh sea air. <laughs> <laughs> you look like you're ready for a nap. Is the boat lulling you to sleep? <laughs> wonderful. It ended up being so perfect out on the water and just a really nice cruise. I feel like I learned a lot about the area and it was a, a good way to spend our day here in Portland. It's also worth noting that they do also do trolley tours and they have several other boat cruises. We wanted to do a sunset cruise but sadly uh, they were not running it tonight because of the weather, but uh, just I could not imagine how beautiful uh, Portland headlight would be from the water down there. So you should you should look into that if you're here and the weather is nicer. 